Hey guys, it's Onisha Biggs of PharmacyTechLessons.com and this is another episode of the Ask PTL Show. EZ04 underscore 20 says, what is the best way to study? All right, so EZ, I'm just gonna call you EZ, okay? Um, thank you so much for the question. This is a great question. So I'm gonna give you a very simple method that you can use to go about studying for this exam. And you can literally start this today. All right, so first things first, I need you to be able to recognize your weaknesses, okay? Most students, they don't wanna recognize the weaknesses. They wanna put blinders on. Oh, I'm not weak in math. Oh, see, look how I did that problem. It was so good. Look, don't do that. Focus on your weaknesses only when studying for this exam. If there is a practice test and you pretty much know how to do everything on that practice test, please move on to another practice test, all right? Because that's not gonna do you any good when you go and take the actual exam because the exam is going to be, and it is designed to challenge you on areas that you are weak in or most weak in or questions that you typically tend to miss. Now, this is not for every general student. This is for you. Literally, these computers have gotten so much more tech savvy that they are able to pick up on questions that you miss while you're taking the exam. So let's just say, for instance, you're not doing good on math. Well, if you're not doing good on math, you're probably more likely to get math problems. Have you ever heard someone say, um, you know, it seemed like I had a lot of math and that's my weakest subject. Well, that wasn't by coincidence. There's actually a computer there, guys, and it can pick up on the questions that you miss or that you tend to miss the most. So keep that in mind when you are taking this exam and when you're studying for the exam. Study your weaknesses only, okay? And there are a lot more uh, tactics and tips and methodologies that I can give you. And if you would like more of those, then of course you can shoot us an email to pharmacytechlessons at gmail.com. Of course, you can continue to send your questions in here. Drop them in the comments below. What method you use to study, what method helped you. And uh, let's help somebody else out, okay? Let's help our uh, person here that asked the question. Let's help them out, okay? So you guys, this has been Onisha Biggs of PharmacyTechLessons.com. You have a great day.